Last Night is the third or fourth novel that I've read by Kerry Wilkinson and I think it might be my favourite. And the reason it's my favourite is because there are so many problems that our protagonist encounters and yet it doesn't feel forced, it doesn't feel over the top, it is gripping. I was desperate to know what happened and why all of these things keep happening and I will also say I didn't work it out. I thought I did. Getting close towards the end of the novel I thought ah that's what happened and then you know completely was not the case which I love. I love the element of surprise. So I'm not going to spoil anything here. I don't want to ruin the narrative because as I said one of the reasons why I loved it was because it was completely unpredictable and things just got worse and worse for the protagonist and weirder and weirder things started happening and ordinarily when a novel has too many problems within the narrative and the protagonist faces too many strange events or complications it just feels overkill and it feels like they're trying to do too much to make the reader surprised but that is not the case here it's done very well here and I think that's why my why it's my favorite because it takes something that usually irritates me and makes me thoroughly enjoy it so the novel starts off uh, with our protagonist our protagonist Rose she wakes up in a field uh, in a car in her car and she doesn't know how she got there and then she realizes there's blood on the bonnet and obviously she doesn't know how that got there either and she just you know drives back home and then we get introduced to her life and you know who she lives with what her life is like and it slowly builds from there now i say it builds from being in the middle of a field with no recollection of getting there with blood but blood on the bonnet but actually it does things do get weirder and just as we start to get one potential answer for something something else is thrown into the mix and it's never clear whether they're connected or if there are separate things going on Obviously, Rose is questioning everything that's going on around her as it seems like she's beginning to lose her mind because, I mean, she does simple things like misplace her keys. But then she gets flashbacks in her memory from things that have happened that night and bits and pieces she can remember. And suddenly she's wondering if either she is losing her mind or somebody is out to get her. And who is it? You know, she is obviously looking at all of the people in her life. And as a reader, we are doing the same thing, trying to work out if anybody she knows could be causing these things to happen. And, you know, of course, who does the blood belong to as well? That's a question that's kind of there throughout the entire book. Answers are hinted at, but then they're kind of dismissed because there are reasons why that wouldn't have been the case. Really is unpredictable, and I love it. Rose as a character is really likeable. Um, she's very well developed. She is very self aware. She knows, you know, she's not perfect if she's doing something wrong or, you know, if she behaves in a way that she probably shouldn't have done. She acknowledges that within herself. You know, she's very realistic and very believable as a protagonist. So often writers create these perfect protagonists and, you know, they're flawless and, you know, they're. If they were asked in a job interview what their biggest flaw was, it would be that they're just too perfect. Um, not the case here. Very believable, very realistic. Um, from a, a technical aspect, uh, the book is very well written. I think I spotted one typing error. I think where it should have said wandering, as in W-A-N-D-E-R-I-N-G, but it said wondering, as in to contemplate. Apart from that, I don't think I spotted any other typing errors, which seems... Like, it should be obvious. But I read a lot of... Well, I read a lot of books. And the amount of professionally published books that have typing errors in them is ridiculous. And that's not the case here, thankfully. It is a brilliant story. If you like thrillers, psychological thrillers, you will adore this book. Um, as it, the, the tagline in the title says, an absolutely gripping psychological thriller with a brilliant twist. It has many twists in it, and I love it. But I do hate it when people put like a a tagline or a strap line or some kind of hook as part of the book title on Amazon. It's like if your book's that good, you don't need that garbage to kind of make people feel like they should read it. It's like putting a quote from a rating on a book title. It's, it's, uh, It's desperate and needy and this book does not need that. It carries its own. I really loved it. 
as I said, this is the third or fourth book by Kerry Wilkinson that I've read. And I'm looking forward to reading more. It is brilliant. Definitely well-developed, very intense, gripping. I hate the word unputdownable because it's not a word. But that is completely true with this book. I could not put it down. Truly love it. If you're into psychological thrillers, make this the next one you read. Let me know your thoughts. I promise you will be on the edge of your seat. It's brilliant.